side steps or rock sliders. Now, everybody might think they're the same, but they're clearly not. 79 is four years old now. Uh, when we first got it, I had a relationship with Bob from East Coast Four Wheel Drive, who's also TJM Chipping Norton. So we decked it all out with TJM gear, the bull bar, the, the brush bars, the side step, the winch, um, a nice healthy step on it as I use the step a lot to tie stuff on the roof. Uh, I've got two kids that get in and out of the back. So I was very happy with the stance of the step. Now in the four years, this is going to be my third set of steps. Um, we love going four-wheel driving. We love pushing the limit. It's a three-ton truck, unladen, so there's a lot of weight when you do get caught up on obstacles, rocks, ledges, tree roots, whatever it may be. So the first set uh, that I destroyed, I, I bent them and then I went back to the same place and had another go at the obstacle and bent them even further as well as taking out the doors. There's a fine line between a sidestep and a rock slider. So on the comp truck, we have a rock slider, which it can take a beating. Uh, it's double tubed. We fitted a new step and at the time I thought about doing this mod and sleeving it um, but I didn't have the time at the time so we whacked it back on and six months later I'm in the same predicament. I mean these are such a capable truck, uh, twin locked with a bit of lift, you're going to find yourself going places where you probably won't have to or shouldn't um, and that, uh, you will get into trouble. So we incorporated the brush bar into the side step purely for protection, but also uh, for winching, like to have that extra support that the bull bar is not going to move. It's an, another brace in my opinion. Um, we have pulled this thing out of some pretty bad spots. Where we're going to cut this step is I'm going to put a, a cut through here and a cut just this side of the join. What we're going to do, we're going to sleeve it, leave the sleeve a bit longer and then weld the cut pieces back on. So they're sending me my set of steps uh, which I need to get powder coated anyway. So it's a perfect opportunity to do the cutting, the welding, grind it back, send it all for powder coating. I also want to make a point that I love my TJM gear. I wouldn't have done it any differently. It's not TJM's fault that we're bending these steps. We're pushing the limit. Uh, it's a heavy truck, like I've said. We take it to places, not many 79 should be going. And hopefully this time, with it a little bit stronger, uh, we won't bend it as quickly. But in remembering that, these are a, uh, a side bag compliant step. So, where's a rock slider, a custom rock slider, if you do go that way, you've got to make sure that you're compliant with the airbags. So, this is going to end part one. Part two, when the steps come in a couple of weeks, we'll cut them up and refit them and go out and test them. That's the fun part, the testing. Thanks for watching.